Hi guys, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers and I'm so excited because we have some very, very special guests today with us and we're doing an interview. They're still in Italy and uh, we're here, of course, in El Dorado Hills. But what makes them special is that there are, they are three young men who decided to take on a very big renovation project in the town of Praia Mare in Calabria, which is one of our favorite towns down there. We love it. So uh, what they did was they bought a house, a giant house in the historic center. The house was in pretty rough shape, as you'll see with the photographs. They transformed it within a year into a magnificent B&B property. It is just gorgeous. And we have pictures of that that we're gonna show you as well and, and going along with the process of you know, what it takes to do a project like this and then to keep it successful as a business. They have a very interesting history. Uh, we're gonna dig into a little bit of that as well because to me, it's a fascinating story. It could almost be a movie. So, um, so basically who we have here today, the, the group of uh, guys together is Manuel, who is uh, the son of our friend Giacomo. And a little bit about Giacomo is that uh, we were in Ayeta back in 2012 after we bought our house and Giacomo came running out. I hear English. So we got to know him and we've been great friends ever since. So we are just so happy that, that Giacomo uh, introduced us to his family and then that we got the opportunity to meet these amazing young men. So with us today, we have Manuel and then we have Paolo. And their other uh, person that, that does it with them is Bito. He's not here because he's an engineer and he's working today. So I want to introduce you to them. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. So um, Manuel, raise your hand so they know who you are. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> and Paolo? Hello. Good evening. Yeah, good. Okay. Good. Good. This is wonderful. I'm so excited about this interview because I've been wanting to interview you for a long time. Um, a couple of years ago, uh, Giacomo, we were having dinner with Giacomo and he said, I want to show you this house. And it was the house that you had purchased. All the windows were out. Um, it was being renovated and he was showing us the, the project. And then I think it was last year, I saw you guys and the project was complete. And I was just stunned at how beautiful it really was. So um, what I'd like you to tell me, we had talked a little bit, you sent me some information, which was very useful. You guys getting to know each other, how did you get to know each other? Uh, we know each other uh, since the time of the school. We were mate at school. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful, that's great. Now in, in the introduction that you gave me, uh, you had mentioned that you had started another project before and that it, it wasn't as successful. Can you tell me about that project? Oh, yes, of course. It was um, an experience uh, like friends. We, we don't start with uh, the correct uh, point of view uh, about business. We start uh, this, uh, this little activity in, in which we made some uh, hot dog, some about food because it was inside the Luna Park. So we don't have a correct business plan before starting this, uh, this activity, this business. So poor result at the end of the season. It was the summer season and uh, we don't have a lot of uh, clients. So at the, the customers, not, not, so, non, not, uh, not, not a lot of people come in, in our shop. So we close it. At, the, at uh, the end of the summer, we decided to close it. Ah, I understand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And for our, our clients here, our, our viewers, uh, Calabria has a very, very busy tourist season in summer. And that's yeah. really when, when you make most of your money, I think is in the summer tourist season, uh, in, in ventures like that. So how did, uh, how did you first, I think the question I wanted to know is whose idea was it to start with this house and how did that start? I mean, who planted the, the seed of the idea in, in you guys? Uh, there is an idea um, by 
by, by, by Vito. Yes. Yes, uh, we, Vito is a, um, a bravo engineer. He's a good engineer of, uh, to see the, this, old, this old house. And uh, we, after we decided to buy together, he and have uh, he has uh, some knowledge inside the town, and uh, the father uh, have uh, another business in uh, civil works. So he know a lot of people inside the town. And, we have uh, a company of the civil work. Yes, uh, they give sure. us uh, this kind of suggest to to looking uh, this uh, building because it was a really convenient uh, price for uh, buy this house. And, uh, but the work was impressive. The, the, the work, uh, this, house, this house needs a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of, of work. works. So a lot of people scared about this building, about uh, buying this building and uh, renovate from, from zero. Uh, there so, is uh, 200 and half uh, meter, meter quadrant of... Uh, 214 square meters. Square meters. Wow, wow. Yeah. That is a huge all project. To renovation, all the uh, From the light uh, to the wall, to all the room, the disposition, the because disposition uh, of the room. from an house uh, we make a hotel. So uh, you need to change all the disposition of the, the room uh, to, to um, improve the number of the toilet. Uh, for uh, each room you need a toilet. So there are some some uh, civil works or reconstruction works, uh, not easy. It was a challenge, a really hard challenge. Yes, I, I could see because Pete and I went through every single picture that you sent us um, yeah. of the renovation and it was massive. It was huge. Um, lots of, uh, you know, old stuff going out and new stuff coming in and destruction of this and creation of that. It yeah. was a huge project. I'm amazed that you did that in one year. Yes, to me, that is, yeah, yeah. And, and you guys did a lot of the work yourselves, right? Of yes, course. yes. Of the, course. The, the best part of, of, the, of, this, jo of this job uh, is that we work together as a team. Uh, the, the three people who make this company also to manage the, work, the, company, the company work inside for, for uh, all kind of works. For uh, just today we have two guests and we need to prepare the breakfast in the morning. So uh, in the past we made the civil work, today we made, we made a, a good breakfast. Uh, yes, yes, uh, <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That's yeah. great. And, and you learned a lot, right, in the process. Of wow. Wow. Yes. Yeah, it, it's amazing. Um, you know, seeing it done and with all the beautiful tile and the beautiful artwork on the walls and the touches it's it's just magnificent i just you know i can't imagine a better uh product at the end it's just lovely so that's fantastic also for our experience uh, we don't have experience of, uh, on uh, electrical sink or maybe hydraulical sink uh, for the water for uh, we have uh, zero experience no experience we starting uh, from nothing and uh, we make this uh, adventure together and uh, we made it so we are really happy that there is, is a, yeah that's amazing did you use a local architect for the designs? Did you use a geometra engineer or all of them? What, how did that process work for the design of the B&B? &B? Uh, for uh, the construction phase, uh, we need uh, to use uh, an engineer and also an architect because uh, we need some uh, documents who need to be signed to these, these uh, two to feed you, no? Uh, we, need, uh, we need the approval from the state, so we need to ask to this, uh, these two employees to, to solve our problem. Uh, after that, uh, for all the things inside the structure, for uh, 
the um, for um, the floor for uh, cho choose the lamps all all, all this kind of thing uh, we made it alone we 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 choose every little thing uh, we stay uh, a lot of days uh, on the internet looking for the best price uh, looking for the best quality so uh, it's uh, all all our all our job for uh, for the details, for uh, the furnishing of the BMB, it's all our job. Only for uh, the um, permission, only only for the papers, we ask to other uh, other people. Oh, that's magnificent! Because the colors in there and the tile, the tile in the bathrooms is so beautiful, and then the color. Each room has its own color and its own uh, design, which is gorgeous. And uh, tell me about the rooms, because each room has um, some sort of attraction from Prayamari in yes. it. Can you tell me how you came up with that idea? Uh, every room tells a story about a different place in our town. Every room have a, have a name uh, of uh, point, uh, point of interest. Point of interest. Point of uh, interest, like uh, uh, the, the yeah. island in front of uh, our sea, uh, named it uh, Isola Dino, uh, Isola di Dino. Uh, also have uh, uh, so, um, an, an old castle in Fiuzzi and uh, the room named uh, Fortezza di Fiuzzi. Fortezza is uh, like, uh, castle. like castle, uh, old castle. Um, we, uh, we, uh, about, uh, about the color, uh, we choose the color, uh, um, uh, looking uh, to our town, looking our region, uh, looking the color of the sea, looking uh, the color of our mountain. So we choose this uh, kind of color. Choose, choose this kind of color is not very difficult for us because we have this color in nature we have around a, us. We have this color every day in this year. So we, we keep the best from uh, our region, from our town, and we try to put inside our room uh, from the color, uh, from uh, the name, the story. Uh, in, every, in every room, uh, we have a wall behind uh, the bed in which we describe uh, this uh, little part, uh, this point of interest inside uh, our town. Or, or maybe, you see, uh, can, can we round uh, the lap? to show you in this moment we have here oh yeah now are you where are you are you in the um abbraccio del golfo is the room number two at uh, at the ground floor at the ground floor oh, yes. okay room number two now how yeah. many rooms are there total in your hotel seven rooms, seven rooms. three three triple three triple room two da three uh, three double and one uh, four, four people four, four Wow, that's amazing. And most uh, of them have little terraces, and one has a giant terrace, is that right? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, three rooms have a terrace. No, four rooms have, a terrace. have terrace. Yes. And, uh, just the ground floor. Just the ground have. floor uh, have, don't, uh, have. don't have terrace. But uh, yes, in the ultimo piano, pure c'è vabbè il terrazzone. Yeah, yeah, but you have the garden down at the ground floor, yes. which is so and beautiful. Down at the ground floor, we have a lovely, a lovely garden. Uh, In which we serve the breakfast during the summer. It's possible to eat the breakfast at, uh, the, in the garden at the ground floor. And uh, very important is uh, in the garden, we have a, um, a tree of lemon. We have some typical spicy food from South Italy. Uh, so we have some uh, uh, beautiful thing also in the garden, not also inside the BMB. Yeah, yeah, it is a beautiful garden. Peter and I were admiring it on the pictures you sent us. Those pictures are wonderful, by the way, because it not only shows you, like there's some uh, pictures from above where you can see yeah. the Isla de Dino and you can see uh, La Grotta, La, La Grotta de la Madonna, Madonna de la Grotta. Grotta, Grotta, it's a church, yes. It's yeah. a church, yes. So beautiful. And, and a couple of your rooms actually have a view of that, don't they? Yes. Yeah, yes. It's, it's just beautiful, just beautiful.
We don't have the view on the sea because we are in the middle of the town. But fortunately, we have the view on uh, the mountain and on the on the sanctuary, on the church of uh, Madonna della Grotta. It's a, a really old church uh, near our uh, structure, near our hotel. It's uh, just uh, 100 meters far from here. Wow. Yeah, everything is within walking distance because, you know, you're in this, the historic center, which is always, I think, the best place to be. But you can walk out and then you have the promenade, you have all those beautiful shops and ice cream stores, which I love, yes. um, and then a few blocks to the beach. So everywhere you go, you can walk. And you guys have parking, which is very important in a historic center to have parking. Yes. Um, so it's just an ideally located B&B. &B. In fact, I wanted to tell you, uh, we've had a lot of people who want to come over next summer. We hope, hope, hope that Italy will be open to Americans. And oh. uh, we want to put them in your B&B &B because we want them to have a wonderful experience. And um, our B&B &B is not going to be ready for another year. <laughs> so we're going to put them in your B&B &B and it they can experience it. Yes, it will be wonderful. I know they will be very well cared for there. Uh, they will have a wonderful experience. So I want to let you know that. Um, to our audience, if you want to book Praia Vecchia, you better book now because they're going to book up pretty solid. <laughs> so good. Okay. Now tell me about the work as it progressed. You, you, you got together with Bito and he convinced you to buy this house. How did you feel as the work progressed? I'm sure there were days where you were like, ah, yeah. and other days where you're like, yay. Tell us about that process. Ah, yes, we spend a lot of days uh, with uh, very bad humor because, uh, <laughs> because maybe some days so hard. Yeah, very hard the job, but not so physically, but uh, also to manage all the workers inside the house. For some period, we have a lot, uh, a lot of people inside, maybe 20 people, 20 workers inside the uh, house. Uh, so there are three floors. So people comes down, people, uh, people uh, uh, shout, shout, <laughs> people shout inside, the people running. Uh, so it was, uh, it was. Uh, really 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 hard to manage the people to to uh, improve every day for the projects to renovation so maybe you have some problem uh, with the postal service they don't uh, give you what you need or maybe in south in south italy sometimes it's difficult to, to find uh, the um, detail the specific piece uh, you need so we need uh, we have we we fight a lot of problem during uh, this one year during this year uh, it was not not easy uh, but at the end of the project, when you start to see the project, it is almost complete. You, you feel uh, very good. You feel much, much better. And you start to, to trust in yourself, to believe in yourself, in what, your, uh, what be your ideas, what you have in your mind. It became true. So it's a, a really, really good satisfaction, big satisfaction for us, yeah. Yes, yes. Pete and I were looking at the picture of the three of you with your cake. Was that the, the night you celebrated your grand opening or the finish of the project? Yes, yes, yes. It was uh, that time and uh, we have uh, our family inside and also all the friends uh, uh, came inside our party for the grand opening. More, more than uh, 200 people for that wow. day. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Oh my goodness. And everybody was celebrating with you. That's fantastic. The place is big, we, no problem for uh, 200, 200 people. <laughs> no yeah, problem. Yeah, we have a lot of space uh, for our <laughs> guests. <laughs> yeah, and I bet they just couldn't wait to see the finished project, you know? Everybody sees it happening and, and they're, okay, what's, what's it look like inside? And then when they go in and they experience this beautiful space, oh, 
That must have been magnificent. We try to improve uh, year after year, step by step. We have a lot of uh, program for the future to for uh, improve to to try to give to our guests a better service every time every year to improve our service to improve the number of services inside our structure. Um, for the moment, I will give you some spoiler about uh, next season. Uh, uh, we are um, almost ready to start with the tour of um, of uh, our town and uh, our place. the town, um, the neighbor here. There is a Maratea. I don't know if you remember. There is a lovely city near uh, Tortora, near Praia, and uh, we make some tour uh, between Praia and Maratea with the connection with the little bus who bring the, the guests from our structure and uh, makes a, a, a daily tour uh, between sea and mountain and uh, church and the historical places around our town here. This is a, a, little, a little spoiler from uh, next season. That is wonderful. I was going to ask you about that because, um, you know, I, I want to take your tour. <laughs> I want to go on your bus. <laughs> I want to see that. We have not seen uh, La Madonna de la Grotta yet, so we have to go see that. And Maratea, yeah. when you go up to the Christ the Redeemer statue, it's so beautiful up there. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, that, that's really good to hear. You know, the guests are so well cared for at your, at your hotel. It's wonderful. So there were some tough times, yes. some hard times. What, what was it that got you through? Was there some idea that, that made you keep going? Some, something that, that made you persist? Yes, um, uh, our friendship, it was the first point. Yes, because uh, we trust each other. And uh, like three friends, we try to fight the problem every day, trying to solve. But uh, I believe uh, the, um, the uh, really important thing it was uh, when uh, we finish our day, at the end of the day, at seven o'clock in the evening, we go together to drink something together. We stay together as a friend outside of the work. So. Uh, this uh, give us the, um, the the strength to to go to go on to to pass all the problem uh, and uh, this this idea to realize something together it was a, a really really good idea to to motivate us to give us the the power to to fight the problem that is a very important point, I think, where you have to get out of the area of the problem and go somewhere else and, and be friends. I love that idea. That's beautiful. We support each other. Each if other. Uh, one of, uh, my friend has a problem, I try to solve for him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's lovely. And, and that's something we found just in Calabria in general. You know, when we met Giacomo, um, he's just been so helpful. He, there's always an offer of help to solve problems and things like that. And it's just, to us, that's just such a beautiful cultural thing. Uh, we love that so much. It's so that's typical good to know. of the South Italy people. Yes, yes, that's South Italy people. And I think that's one of the things that draws Americans to Calabria, to Italy in general, but, but Calabria is very much that way. You know, I think our, our YouTube channel got very, very popular. And I think it's because people want that sense of community. They want that sense of being part of something bigger than themselves or their families. And, uh, you know, in America, you can find it sometimes, but in the bigger cities, it's sometimes you don't know your neighbor. And yeah. I think everybody wants to go back to that, where everybody looks out for each other and uh, takes care of each other, and it's a, a beautiful thing. Of course. Yeah. Yes, I agree with you, Chris. So tell us again a little bit how you felt. What was the one day where you felt like all the problems were sort of behind you and you could see the finished project, and how did you feel at that point? 
Uh, the project was finished in, uh, in August. So we start directly with uh, the top of the season. In August, uh, here is uh, it's, it's crazy town because it's full of people. Crazy time. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, but uh, at the end of the job uh, in uh, July, uh, when we saw the house uh, almost finished, we, we start to relax, to, to calm down because uh, we make this, uh, this run, run from November to May to April, May for finish all the important thing. And uh, we remain at least uh, just the detail. And uh, in July it was finished. We need uh, just some permission from our uh, town, from uh, our uh, uh, civil hall, who give us the permission to, to open the activity, the business for the first time. Uh, our feeling at uh, that time was uh, uh, like, uh, like on the fire. Not, uh, not uh, so calm, uh, because, <laughs> <laughs> because we need to discuss every day with the people in the office. Uh, uh, every day is a new experience. Uh, um, uh, each one of us uh, take his um, his job and uh, he uh, go in an office to solve a problem uh, and other people and other of us go to the post uh, postal office to pay something uh, we need to finish uh, run 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 in july at the end of the month uh, we sit and we stay calm to looking at what we have done and uh, hoping uh, the but season will be good Wow, wow. And you did really well that season, didn't you? Uh, for our uh, guests for breakfast uh, and uh, uh, another uh, type of work uh, for uh, the cleaning up the room at the Alestire Buffet, for, uh, clean, for the make up, make up the buffet, uh, all this type of work for uh, manage our BNB. That's successful. Yeah. yeah, that is a lot of work with seven rooms. It's it's yeah. a lot. Yes, yeah. but in one in three person is the top for manage uh, uh, seven room is uh, m almost easy. If we have a different uh, job inside our company, we can manage very well. Uh, the structure because uh, each one of us have a different job inside the society. Uh, Manuel is for the breakfast uh, and Vito maybe is uh, for uh, the payments uh, for uh, all the papers, uh, all the stuff about uh, legal uh, paper and uh, for the hard job, for uh, the maintenance, uh, I'm doing this. So you need to be a team. Uh, uh, everyone have a different job inside uh, our company. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's, that's actually really, really smart. Wonderful, wonderful. What about the future? Are you, are you looking at possibly doing another project like this anytime soon? Or is this one keeping you very, very busy? Uh, it would be a dream. A dream, start, yeah, yeah. Start another uh, another activity, another business like this one. Yeah, yeah. But, um, we hope uh, in the future, if uh, the season uh, will be good, if the coronavirus uh, will be good with us, uh, we we can start another business like this, uh, or maybe something uh, uh, in the uh, always in the touristic field. Something uh, can work together with our BNB. Maybe a restaurant, or maybe um, I don't know how do you translate the shop on the on the sea. Uh, who rent you the umbrella? Who rent oh, you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how that's... do you call it? Uh, I don't know. We, we're a Lido, right? We just call it a Lido. We call it a Lido, yes. Yeah, yes. a Lido. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we have an American word for that other than a shop on the sea to rent umbrellas. <laughs> but, but, so a Lido, a Lido. That's a good idea because you have, then you'll have your private little area. That's, that's a good idea. I and was also in, for our guest to yeah. send in our Lido uh, our guest. 
Yeah, that's wonderful. I was in Aruba for a while and I had to quarantine in a hotel, which was lovely because they had their private beach. And I'm telling you, it was wonderful. Oh, beautiful there. So that's also, a, I like also, that idea a lot. We hope to realize something like this. Yeah, good, Maybe good. Something uh, like um, about food, uh, we, uh, we want to make um, conserve. Uh, little marmalade, a little jam, jam for uh, to sell uh, at our guest or all, uh, to um, to Give. put on uh, buffet uh, all um, tutto di nostra produzione handmade uh, because we have a uh, lot of tree of fruits fruits like mm. uh, orange or uh, tangerine and uh, we made a jam and uh, we put on uh, our buffet or sell uh, or, or sell it. Oh, that's, that's a wonderful idea. Or even cedro, because that's very... That, y I can't find cedro anything in America. You have to yes. get it from Calabria. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, all about uh, our typical food. We are uh, trying to prepare this uh, compost, this uh, jam, this uh, sweetness for the morning for, to, to, to add in a buffet, uh, to something uh, biological with uh, with um, health food healthy food and uh, yes made the handmade in our house yes oh that's wonderful i love that idea oh that's perfect so let me ask you did covid affect your business last summer uh, uh, for um, the first part of the season, yes, especially in June. In June, June was terrible because uh, we have the permission to open, to restart our business at the beginning of June, but uh, you don't have time to, for the advertising, you don't have time uh, to, 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 prepare, uh... to prepare your season. So for the, for the first month in June, we spend all the time to fix the situation, to prepare with all the security, all the safety for the COVID, like gloves, uh, like, uh, like mask. the mask uh, uh, we needed to prepare. And uh, uh, in that period, it was a luckless in, uh, in, in Italy, no, no possibility to find uh, all this uh, um, safety against uh, COVID. Uh, but fortunately, uh, in July, we start, this year, we start a normal season. So for the months of July and August, it was a good season. Good, very good season. Very yes. good season, yes. Uh, fortunately. Uh, we don't have the historical uh, phase about, uh, we don't have a record of the last year because this is our first year. So we, we don't, we cannot compare two years ago with the, this year. But uh, we looking in the, in the town, there were a lot of people. Yes. Uh, also our structure was full for uh, more, than, uh, more than half season. For, uh, yes, we were full, uh, so not bad. For the first really year, for yes. the first year is not, 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 bad, not bad. We are happy. For the COVID, not bad. That, that's fantastic. Good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that because I, I worry about the, um, the businesses in Calabria if, if the tourist season is shut down. So this is good to hear. So um, w what is the status now on the COVID? You, Calabria was purple, I think, right? And now is it orange? Yes. yes. No, from tomorrow, from, from tomorrow it, it will change on uh, yellow. Yellow, good, yeah. good, that's great. So does that mean you can go from one comune to another yes. with your yellow? Yes. Fantastic. Oh, my friends in Santa Dominica because will be- No, the problem in Calabria is not uh, only the COVID because uh, for, for like the illness, it were uh, not, not many people with the, with the COVID, like uh, 30 or 40 people less than 100 in all the region yes but the problem are the hospital yes 
we don't have enough uh, hospital to manage the situ this situation so it's not easy for this reason uh, they prevent and they put in uh, red red region we stay red. red color we stay red for one month for one month we stay red after uh, in one week we stay orange and uh, starting from tomorrow we will be yellow, yellow. and uh, we that's really good news. We're, we're hoping, too, that before too long, I mean, obviously, we want to be careful and we don't want to cause anything bad, but uh, we have so many people who want to come over to Calabria. They want to look at properties. They want to experience the beauty of Calabria. Uh, we get emails every single day uh, from many, many people who can't wait to get over there. So let's hope that Americans can travel to Italy very soon and, uh, and definitely come stay with you guys because uh, your, your place is just a really, really special. Um, I know that our clients will be so well cared for when they're there. So um, I, I can't wait to have them go and experience it. And I can't wait for your bus tour because <laughs> I'm going to go with our clients. Yes. And, and see we everything. Are, we are waiting for you. Good, good. Well, we miss you guys we so much. Pleasure. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we wanted to be there in, um, you know, this summer and we couldn't go. And then we were thinking Christmas and we can't go. So Pete and I will be there in May. We can, we can travel because we have business. So no matter what, we will be there in May. And um, maybe we can do some more videos together, maybe tour some of the attractions together and put it on the channel. It would be lovely. We are um, working in this way. Yeah, yeah, that would be wonderful. So is there anything else you want to say? Why don't you tell me a little bit about what your clients can expect when they come stay at Praia Vecchia? Oh, the most common, uh, um, the most common uh, regard we receive is uh, um, about the picture on internet. Our guests say on internet is uh, worse than from the reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the pictures are good, but the reality is much better. They receive this kind of surprise and uh, they make us a lot of uh, compliments about this. And uh, a lot of uh, client, a lot of customers uh, like uh, our um, style inside the, the room. They love it. They love this, uh, this uh, different name in each room. And uh, also we receive a lot of compliments about the garden. Yes, it is beautiful. People uh, who come from city, they don't have a lemon tree in their in the garden. garden. So when they look so there, when they when we show them the lemon, they say, "Oh, wonderful uh, lemon! We don't have in our home. Uh, can I bring one?" So <laughs> they... That's wonderful, and and they smell so good. You just stand under the tree, and the smell lemon, comes lemon, down, lemon. and the yes. sun. Oh, what a beautiful experience. That's lovely. That was my experience when I first walked in. You know, uh, Giacomo was so funny. He, he, just, he just couldn't say enough wonderful things about how your hotel turned out. He was so happy. And when I walked in and saw those beautiful tiles and I was just really, uh, we call it over the moon, right? Over the moon, excited about it. It was such a beautiful, beautiful uh, renovation. Yeah, and and our viewers are just going to love this video because seeing some, go, seeing something, you know, that was once a beautiful building that has fallen into disrepair, and then somebody loves it enough to take it through to this this point. We all love that. That is really something we we sort of. Uh, look at it. kind of suggested you need, uh, we are ready. We are okay. here for you, Chris. Oh, that is fantastic. Yeah, we have Airbnb getting ready. I, we, we just told Antonella to get started. So that'll be an exciting project too. So yes. you'll have to come give us all your tips. <laughs> fantastic. Is there anything else you guys want to say to our uh, viewers here on the Super Savvy YouTube channel? If you want to visit our uh, website, website, 
www.praiavecchia.com. That's AT. Yes, and we will put the um, the uh, contact information in the details under the video. Okay. Thank and you so much. Yeah, Thanks. yeah, so people can find you. And we will do a whole lot of other things too. Okay, so you guys, you got to meet these wonderful young men and see their amazing project. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, details to Praia Vecchia down in the details section so you can contact them and book your your room and go visit uh, Praia Mare. Now, Praia Mare is a beautiful little town and uh, Praia Vecchia is just just there's just a little short street and then you're right on the main drag of Praia Mare with its trees, with its shops, with its restaurant, and then um, steps from the beach. So it's really the ideal place to go in Southern Italy if you want a, a, just a lovely vacation. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed this interview and uh, uh, Paolo and Emmanuel, We'll say goodbye. Say goodbye to our guys. Goodbye. Thank goodbye. you. Goodbye. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. You're Thank very you. welcome. Okay, good. And uh, please say hello to Giacomo and your family. We miss you guys terribly and can't wait to come see you. Yes, hello. Yeah, okay. Okay, you guys have a good evening. I'll see you later. Thank you and good evening. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.